<laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today we are going to try to cut tie logs. We are trying again and what we've decided is that we're actually going to cut them on the LT15 instead of the LT40. And I'll explain why in a little bit. We have tried to make it profitable to cut tie logs in the past and they should be a very profitable product but what we haven't figured out is how to make it efficient to where it can be profitable. What we're doing here is we are laying down 8 by 8 as kind of a bed for the logs. So we'll lay two down so we can load the, well, it will be a temporary deck. So we'll put the logs on the 8x8s so we can easily roll them on. Now what we're trying to do is make our deck level with the bed of the mill. So these 8x8s weren't tall enough so we're putting little pieces of dunnage under them to level it out. Sammy is going to run down below and grab us our tie logs. So what we did was we actually made a little railroad template. Uh, the railroads that we cut are a 7 by 9 and so this way we can just kind of trace around the edges of it to act as a visual aid when cutting the railroad. It has been challenging in the past to decipher how large to cut the first slab when you have a very small log because you can have a log that is large enough to get your 7x9 cant out of but one miscut and the whole log is trash because you're not going to get it uh, out of it. So we have this visual aid that grandpa made for us so that we can know how large to cut the slabs, how much we can really take off uh, and still be safe. It's just a really good idea that we are going to try out today. You can see we have it traced on the log. But you can see that if you make this your first cut or very close to it, you're going to get that out of it. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the first log turned here. You can see that it's really not that straight of a log. So that's what that visual aid is for on the end. As for why we aren't cutting these railroad ties on the LT40, we have tried in the past to use the LT40 to cut these railroad ties, but what we found is we can't actually cut them fast enough on there to make it efficient. What we're doing is we're trying to cut them on the LT15 because it's so much closer to the ground, it should actually be easier to roll these cans on and off as well as the logs themselves. And there we have it, a beautiful white oak tie. No rot, hardly any wain. It was a tiny bit, but that one's perfectly okay. So we're going to take one of these clamps and move it closer to the center so we only have to use one, kind of like on the LT40. So there are two for each end of the log, so we're just going to move it down one so it's more in the center. Okay. 
Gotta get a cup of java. Not my first one, and certainly not my last one I'll have today. Cheers. Well, this is why the template is useful because you can see in these smaller logs, it literally touches all four corners of the bark, so it just barely fits, but it does. So here we have another one cut. This one is hickory this time. Very hardwood. Laying some more dunnage down so it's easier to roll them. So some of you might be wondering how much one of these things weighs. And the answer to that is 250 pounds. So these cannot fall on your toes or you will not be too pleased with yourself or this job, quite frankly. All of these hardwood slabs are not going to waste. We will be putting them through the Bell's firewood processor and turning them into firewood. They're a great, great use of that. So many bees all over the place. Whatever wood we cut must have really attracted them spotted at least five bees. Oh, there's one. Those little buggers. So we are done for today and we got 14 ties done so that's pretty good. You can put as many ties in a bundle as you want but we usually do 20 so we're down six but uh, it's good for a day especially since it's a practice day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on another video. I have dirt on my face. <laughs> Freaking A! <laughs> what? <laughs> remember to check out our merch shop down below so you can get our cool merch because it's just so cool and you need it so come on check it out and buy a t-shirt because why not jade wants all of the t-shirts in the world